The year 2007 can be classified as a challenging year for the Ministry of Agriculture. The Ministry was severely impacted by the passage of Hurricane Dean in August, torrential rainfalls that plagued the island from October leading up to November, and also an attack from the pink mealy bug. But how much do we know about this insect, and what project did the Ministry embark on to eradicate the spread of the pink mealy bug? The pink mealy bug is commonly found in tropical Africa, Southeast Asia and Northern Australia, but in 1994 it was identified for the first time in the Caribbean. Despite its wide distribution, it had only achieved pest status in Egypt and India, but in September 1995, the agriculture ministers of the Caribbean and the Americas passed a resolution declaring it a pest to the Western Hemisphere. In October 1994, it was positively identified in Grenada, and by August 1995 in Trinidad, it was later confirmed in St. Kitts. The pink mealybug is a small, soft-bodied insect. Adult females are egg-shaped and wingless, about the size of one to two pinheads, and are pink or gray in color. They are usually covered with a white fluffy wax found on stems, leaves, flowers, fruits and even on roots in soil. The males are slightly grayer than the females and have wings. In badly infested areas, they are easily seen at dawn and dusk as they fly from plant to plant. They are smaller than the egg-filled females. Assistant Plant Health and Food Safety Officer at the Rural Agriculture Development Authority, Ms. Francine Webb, gives an overview of the impact of this insect in Jamaica. We first observed the pink hibiscus mealybug in Jamaica in June of last year, June 2007. We observed the pink hibiscus mealybug in Portland and it was contained in Portland for some time. And then recently, as recent as in December 07, it we saw some um, infestation in St. Andrew. The pink mealybug affects a wide range of plants, but in Jamaica it has been affecting mainly our hibiscus plants. Um, what we have observed so far is that it affects mainly the ornamental plants like your hibiscus, your aurelia, the bougainvillea, all of your, your, most of your ornamental plants, we have um, seen infestation on, on them. We've also seen it on coffee, it's on ackee, soursop, um, cashew, june plum, citrus, quite a number of fruit trees. It can also be on root crops and on vegetables. The pink mealybug is deemed dangerous because of the toxic saliva it injects into plants. Well, what the pink hibiscus mealybug does is that when it feeds, it injects a toxic saliva into the plant. It causes the leaves then to become curled and you'll have um, deformation of the plants occurring. So if you have the leaves being curled and the flowers becoming deformed, then what of course you'd observe from that is that your normal processes are occurring within the plant, your photosynthesis and flowering and which would result in fruiting and so forth would become affected. And if the infestation is quite high, then it can also result in the total devastation of the plant. The plant will die. The pink mealybug we consider to be quite dangerous because of the wide range of hosts that it can feed on. Um, it can be easily spread by the wind, by human activity, you know, by moving plant material, infested plant material from one point to another. So it, it is quite important to us in Jamaica. To combat the effects of the bug, Rada has been dispatching natural enemies. There are some natural enemies, and when I say natural enemies, I mean there are some other organisms that also feed on the pink hibiscus mealybug. Two such enemies that we are using is the, are the parasitic wasp, Anagyrus kamali, and the ladybird beetle, Cryptolemus. Now we have gotten quite a number of shipments from Puerto Rico, from the United States Department of Agriculture. They have been quite helpful in, in giving us quite a number of shipments of the parasitic wasp which we have released in Portland and recently in St. Andrew. 
the ladybird beetle has also been released in the two parishes those beetles we got from Trinidad so what happens is that the the wasp is very specific it's quite small it's very specific to the mealybug without the pink hibiscus mealybug the wasp will not survive it searches out for the mealybug lays this egg within the mealybugs and the egg develops within the mealybug it then emerges as an adult and that's about what, a little over 20 22 days thereabout right the ladybird beetle on the other hand will just go around and, and devour will eat the mealybug right off right so we're using both those approaches it will take some time it won't happen overnight we're looking at um for you to visibly see any difference we're looking at about two to three months each of us can assist in eradicating the mealy bug what we want people to do is we want them to talk have you heard about the pink hibiscus mealy bug you know we have been giving out flyers we want people to be aware so that they can call in they can begin looking close at their plants and that they can take the necessary precautions. So if you suspect something, we don't want you sharing your plants with anybody, right? We want you to be especially careful that moving into and out of these infested communities does and can help to contribute to the spread of the pest. Presently, the ministry has been embarking on plants to mitigate the effects of the bug. What we want to get off the ground for 2008 is our own rearing facility for this natural enemy. So the ministry is working <coughs> to have that um, so that we can, instead of waiting on these shipments, which take some time for us to get them, and when you know there is a risk for mortality with all that traveling. So we want to be able to rear our own parasitoids so that um, we can we can do our own releases here over in the parish of portland the mealybug affected local hoteliers homes as well as farms mr sheldon scott agriculture extension officer at the portland rider branch explains how the mealybug affected portland since june 2006 the pink hibiscus mealybug was first found in the era of commodore it's um and first finding the press um, the wasp was released, some wasp was released in that area. However, some of the, the host plants that, that the pink hibiscus, the mealbug affected, included citrus, mango, aki, gungo, hot pepper, sour sap, tamarind, custard apple, sorrel, okra, among others. So far, we have brought that the infestation level to some level of control but the pest continue to spread throughout the other areas. This include areas such as Islington, Windsor Forest, Drapers, Zion Hill, Port Antonio, Seamans Valley, Hart Hill, Snow Hill, Sun Sun, Black Hill, among some other places. Since the, the hibiscus, which is the primary crop which the mealbug prefer, is related to okra and sorrel. Those two crops are most devastated by the infestation. We can safely say we have lost almost a hectare of sorrel due to the pink hibiscus mealbug infestation. So farmers who have established those fields have suffered that kind of loss. Hoteliers are seriously affected since pink, the hibiscus is used as a form of beautification and due to the infestation they have been doing a rigorous amount of work in controlling the pests. What RADA has been doing? Well, we have been really, we have started, both, we have started um, physical and biological control. In the way we go around, we prune, and also we, we do, do, they use the biological control in which we release the wasp, the Anagyros kamali, and the ladybird beetle, the cryptolemus. So far, we have seen some level of recovery in most areas. 
However, the pest continued to spread. So, some of the sites, some of the new sites, we see the presence of the wasps, but they do need strengthening. So right now we are faced with limited amount of wasps with a growing population of mealybug infested, infested areas. The primary plant the pink mealybug affects is the hibiscus plant. And in Portland, the hibiscus plant serves as a form of beautification for hoteliers. Grounds man at the Jamaica Palace Hotel shares how the mealybug affected the plants. The hibiscus, they come all the way out there. But through the, the infection, uh, it, you can't see it. We so transplant them, move them, and plant different type of flowers right here. Our farmers also had to grapple with the effects of the pink mealybug. Carlton Nelson, a Port Antonio farmer, explains his loss. Some dangerous bug there, you know? Got them kill out things, them kill out the crap, them as you can survive too much to them bugs, you know? So, you know where them come from still. But to them bugs, where the crap them can't come to them, you know? The pepper, sure, sure. all them things we see where about that. Yeah, yeah. So we see about that. I didn't you know, kill them out, see? They're going to go from the top to the bottom, right to the top. And after a while, they're going to dry out and dead down, you know? See? So, we don't really know what happened to them. Because we can't really survive through them, star. I tell you. So, them things are. I them want to plan more things, you know? Uh, yeah, we just plan these things for real. My family, them and things, you know? And friends around to and all them things, you know? Sometimes sell to, you know? to the supermarket and all them things, you know. Yeah, and through the boat, I can't really go to no more, you know. You better get fed up, you know what I mean? I really think it's there. Mr. Fairweather, a soil farmer too of Port Antonio, stated his loss, but he was also quick to commend Rada for their work. It damaged my half acre as sorrel, and after it finished, it came into my yard where I have some Ibiscus, some ibis, some yeah, some ibiscus, and they take a, take up a, all over, and it leaf from one tree to another, and you can see it all around here, yeah, yeah, all around. Yeah, and when I just see the flowers, kind of the leaf them was creeping up, I was wonder what hap happened to them, but. When we called a, a man we work at the at the radar, he told me that it was the pink mealybug. So they came here and treated them by leg of some wasps and so forth. And it kinda look like it's looking much better now. In terms of the, the, the loss, I, I lost about fifty thousand a word. The men from Rada came here and leg of some was in this place here and it is working because they came here about two weeks ago. And I saw the flowers them putting out good leaf, better leaf right now. And it, and it is working right now. So remember, the pink mealybug can be found on the stems, leaves, buds, fruits, and roots of a wide range of plants. These plants include vegetables, tree crops, ornamentals including flowers, foliage plants, and grasses, fruit trees, weeds, root crops, forest trees. To prevent any further damage by the pink mealybugs, here are some safety tips. Do not move plant material with suspected mealybugs. Moving infested plants is the fastest way to spread the pest. Do not prune your trees and leave the cuttings lying around. All cuttings must be burnt. Do not shake or scatter the infested material. Do not spray unless you are sure you have the pink mealybug. Unnecessary spray may kill off natural enemies that can keep the mealybug populations low. Do not carry fresh fruit or vegetables on journeys between countries with confirmed or suspected outbreaks of the pink mealybug unless it has been certified clean.